Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, today's video is going to be about uh, what we light our home with when the power goes off. And our number one choice is the old-fashioned kerosene lamp. Uh, we like the kerosene lamp just because it's uh, readily available. We have several of them. Uh, we always uh, keep them uh, full of kerosene, and they're ready to go uh, at any you no know, minutes notice. Uh, but this particular one right here, we just picked it up in an antique store, and uh, the wick on it has not been trimmed. Now I'm gonna show y'all that too, how we uh, trim the wick. Uh, you always make sure you know that's uh, properly trimmed to get the best light. And um, kerosene lamps in general, uh, I say that a lot of people don't use them no more. Uh, I know a lot of you probably do, but. Um, if, if you haven't ever considered uh, buying one, uh, I'd recommend it just because uh, it's, it's something you can always depend on. It's, it's always going to work. Uh, unlike a flashlight or maybe a rechargeable lamp or something like that, the batteries could be down. This right here is always going to work. Along with your candles, you know, you got candles, uh, that's always a good backup. The only thing with candles, you know, you got to be especially safe with those, you know, if you knock them over. Uh, you know, they're not, you know, they're not my number one choice anyway. But um, another uh, light source we got for backup uh, is uh, propane, like Coleman lamps. They do a real good job. They put a lot of good light out. And uh, that's probably a lot, what a lot of people use now, just something like that. And a lot of you may have generators you use, you know, but we never purchased a generator yet. But uh, I kind of like the old fashioned uh, lamp myself. Uh, it, it just does a you pretty know, good job and uh, kind of uh, brings you back to a slower time pace in life kind of, you know, to me anyway, just a nice, uh, you know, light. It's not real bright and it's kind of reminiscent, reminiscent of the old days. And, um, you know, if you're like me, we all like to go back a little bit and a uh, slower pace of life. But anyway... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how I trim this wick. And uh, Alright, the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to raise this wick up here so I can get to it. You see how it is right there? It's flat. Uh, you don't you don't want that. So all you're going to do, there's several different ways you can do it. But the just way we do it, I'll show you what, what we do. We're just going to round this over right here. So all you're going to do, just take it from the side here and just kind of cut. Like that right there. That's all you gotta do. Just make that wick rounded instead of square. And some people, you make a more of a point to it. Um, I even seen on the computer that I didn't know nothing about it, but you can make two little points on it. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I never tried it. But we just kind of round ours off like that and it works good. And uh, then to light it, all you're gonna do is just raise your wick up there and I'm going to demonstrate this other lamp power got kerosene in it just wait raise your wick up go ahead and light it and turn it down there and your glow back on and you don't you don't want to raise your flame up too high because you get your flame going too high it'll start smoking so basically what happened that flame starts rising off the top of your wick here and uh, so you you want to kind of keep it low and uh, adjust it you know according to how much light you need well anyway friends I hope y'all enjoyed the video today it just uh, talking a little bit about the uh, kerosene lamp and uh, what we use in our home and I uh, hope 
today's video I'm about to give you a little information about you know the kerosene lamp and maybe if you haven't uh, considered uh, putting one in your home maybe after this video you will so hope y'all enjoyed today's video and as always from my family to yours friends y'all have a blessed day see y'all later bye bye